the uh, 1230 mark. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We are pleased to be uh, joined by Nathan Bash and Mike McLeod, who recently resigned with the team earlier today. As a reminder, send me a note in the queue, and I will add you to the line of questions. We'll start off with Amanda Stein, NewJerseyDevils.com. Hey, guys. Um, I'll start. Nate, you can kind of start answering this question, but obviously yesterday with the news, you weren't going to be qualified. Was that sort of talked through to you guys that, you know, we want you with us. We've just got to find a number that works. And at the same time, knowing how important that is with what's been building here in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, obviously our um, agents uh, help us through the process. I'm not exactly sure, um, you know, what, what, should or shouldn't be sent, uh, said, but um, I think Fitzy knew from day one, I'll speak for myself, but that we wanted to come back. So he kind of had an advantage there and we would do whatever it took to be a part of this moving forward. So um, they made it pretty easy on us. Mikey? Yeah, same kind of thing. You know, we, we obviously want to be here and, and, and for me, my goal is to be here long-term and we're just, you know, really excited with the team we got now. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, We've been here for a while now, and it's just everyone at the rink. We love being around, and we'll do anything to come back. So, and Mikey, is it also just sort of knowing? You know, you mentioned everyone around the rink and what you guys were able to do. Does it almost feel like you guys helped start this process to get to where the team is right now? You feel almost unfinished business and wanting to be a part of what's coming. Yeah, exactly. Like when we uh, we first got drafted, the team was kind of in a little different spot, but. Uh, you know, coming up, playing in Binghamton together, and then, you know, finally making making the jump, uh, you know, three three years ago. And now, like, our team's in such a great spot now, and it's just something you really want to be a part of, especially with, you know, the friendships you made and just, just you know, the staff and everything. You're just comfortable there, and you really want to, you know, finish things. And, Nate, how meaningful, last one for me, is it for you? I know, obviously, it was – tough when the Seattle thing happened and you were able to come back and it meant a lot to you to come back. So to have this next contract, what does that feel like to you? It feels really good. Obviously um, I had a not so good experience testing waters with another team. So um, obviously that was an option after not being qualified yesterday. And it was something that I wasn't really too eager to do. And um, like Mikey said, these, uh, these guys here are kind of our best buds now. We've been here, we feel like, since day one of the upward trajectory moving forward. And um, the league doesn't get any easier, but our team keeps getting better. So hopefully, uh, you know, things look good for us. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Thank you, Amanda. Next question, go to Ryan Ovazinski, NJ.com. Hey, guys. Congratulations on the deal. Um, first one for Mikey. Uh, obviously, you know, the... NHL had announced that it, it had completed its investigation to the 2018 um, investigation. Are, are you able to comment on that now? Is there any update on the matter? Uh, no, no real update. I don't know. Just no comment from that one. And and I guess just just for both of you, um, how the training is going this summer, and and how you guys are feeling health wise. I know that um, you know the post postseason can get you know really a lot of players had said that they were dealing with injuries and everything like that. Are you guys doing okay health wise, both of you? Yeah, I'm doing good. All set. Uh, yeah, I've uh, chilled for a little bit longer before I started doing my stuff. Um, this year, this time around, we played in the playoffs for the first time. Uh, but uh, no, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm living good. I'm in Cali right now. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Next question: Go to Josh Rennett, the Hockey Writers. Thanks, Pete. Hey, Mike, um, just for you, uh, taking a one-year deal at this point in your career uh, with the uh, cap rumored to be going up, are you basically betting on yourself that you're going to be in a better position next year to, to maybe uh, go long-term and, and make some money beyond what you're making now? I think, uh, yeah, this is this is where I want to be, and I guess a little bit of betting myself and betting on our team. I think we're going to have a great team this year, and and, uh, you know, this is where I want to be long-term, so hopefully everything works out. Thanks, Mike. And, Nate, just um, can you give us an update on how you're feeling physically in terms of uh, recovering from the injuries you had? Um, starting, to, starting to feel a lot better after the season there. I had to fix my shoulder, and, um, you know, it's uh, kind of a longer process and part of why I think I wanted to have a two-year deal for a, a, a little bit of security coming back from a tough injury. and um been working through it and, and all things have went uh, pretty smoothly so far 
Great. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your summer. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. I don't have any further questions in the queue. So as long as everyone's good, we'll end it right here. Thank you to Nate. Wait, can I Mike. jump in with one more? Sorry. Sure can, Amanda. Go ahead. Guys, just, I mean, obviously we're talking a lot about what you guys have done today, but um, again, I'll start with Nate. What sort of excites you about the moves that Fitzy has made and bringing in some other really big pieces and what that can kind of do, whether you look at, you know, Tyler to Foley, bringing back Eric Hall, uh, just those types of things. Yeah, our team, um, you know, it's going to look a little bit different, but uh, same idea, obviously so young and fast and exciting. And we brought back, uh, you know, if me and Mikey think we've been here since day one, a uh, guy like Jesper Brad's really been here since day one. And, um, you know, such a huge part of our team. And um, a lot goes into these contracts and making sure guys get locked up. And when you have guys like Paula who want to be there as much as they do, that, that adds huge value. So we'll have a couple new faces, but uh, like I said, the, the identity of our team doesn't really change. I'm sure it's the same for you, Mikey. <laughs> I think it's uh, you know huge, huge re-signings and and signings. I think that's uh, super excited for our fans. And I think our fans deserve to to have to have that. And it's obviously you know a team that people want to be a part of, and and uh, you know it should be a really exciting year. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Amanda. No problem. Thank you both, Nate. Thank you, Michael, for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, everyone. We'll talk to you later in the day.